It is 9.13 in the morning. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160, 101.1 FM. He is Joe Pittman from the United Way of Indiana County. This year's chairman here to update us on what's going on and what's coming up. Good morning. Todd, good morning. Good we morning. are in hurry-up mode. Yeah? Hurry-up offense. Yeah, absolutely. How so, come? Well, you know, we're in the final stretch. We've actually set February 7th as the official date that the campaign will end. Mm-hmm. We're at 34% of our goal, and our goal is $724,814, okay. to be precise. So we're moving along. Uh, we have a pile of events coming up here in the next month, and uh, we're, we're in good shape. I, I'm encouraged by where we are compared to years past in terms of percentage of goal raised, but uh, obviously we've got a long ways to go you're not looking up the peanut brittle recipe just yet no 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 okay. i'm going to continue to leave the peanut brittle to Lori. <laughs> I, I uh i'd be afraid of what would uh, actually result from my baking efforts would not so, be a good thing not a good thing All right. not my strength <laughs> so what are some of those events that you have coming up well as of today uh luigi's and climber has been kind enough to uh, uh set aside a portion of the proceeds that uh, they will bring in between today october 23rd and sunday october 28th mm-hmm. so i'd encourage anybody if you're going to eat this week to eat there uh it's uh Obviously, a great restaurant, a place everybody likes to go to begin with. But you can go there, uh, avoid uh, the dirty dishes at the house. And there you go. Know that a portion of uh, what you spend goes to a very good cause. If so, you plan to eat this week, yes. If you plan to eat, this make at week, least one of those meals there at Luigi's. I'm glad you picked up on that. That's all right. right. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we all plan to eat at some point. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other thing we have, you know, Election Day is right around the corner, November sixth. We always have Pancake and Sausage Day coincide with that. It will be at the IRMC uh, cafeteria, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. We're actually going to have a Pittsburgh sports raffle basket, and folks will be able to enter chances for it. We're also going to accept a ballot stub. If you vote that day and you bring your ballot stub, you'll get a free chance to uh, to win. Uh, I think we're going to have some Penguin tickets available and – It'll uh, it'll be an opportunity to raise a few bucks for the United Way as well. But IRMC has always been very gracious in letting us use their facility on that day. It really disrupts their normal operation, but it's become a staple of the campaign, and we very much appreciate what they do for yeah, us. Yeah. So that's November 6th. That is November 6th on Election Day. So I would encourage everybody to eat pancakes, vote, eat pancakes, and I guess if we lived in Philly, I'd say vote again. But you're, we don't, you're so. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't. Have um, a little, um, little political commentary yeah, there yeah, from yeah. Joe Pittman. <laughs> so you filled us up with uh, pasta one day and pancakes another day. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, the next thing we have is uh, uh, Saturday, November 10th. Lori Kuzneski started this last year. She did a tremendous job with it. The adult prom. Uh, It's going to be held at the Country Club this year. It's an 80s-themed prom. Mm -hmm. Uh, So the theme tag is Don't You Forget About Me. And uh, she and Clint, uh, our vice chair, have really worked hard on the event. Again, it'll be November 10th at the Country Club. If you're interested in tickets, uh, uh, call into the office at 463-0277. Uh, tickets are fifty bucks a person or a hundred bucks a couple. Yeah. So uh, hope you'll consider that. Josh, you went to that last year, didn't you? Josh Whittison is here. He's got us on Facebook Live. Look at this. Look at this. How adept he is at this. <laughs> Hand that off to Clint, would you? Yeah, I did go to the adult prom last year, and it was an amazing event that Lori put together. That was over at Chestnut Ridge last year. Mm-hmm. And if if it's going to be anything like it was last year, this is going to be a big event. Uh, very popular, and you get to see people dressing up uh, in their tuxedos and prom gowns, whether they were modern stuff like what Pam mm-hmm. and I had on or whether it was stuff that they had on when they went to prom back in the day. All so right. How many good. people can still fit into their tux from their prom Back in the 80s. Back in the 80s. Who's going to pull out the gown, too? (laughs) You know, my wife just pulled out a gown from one of her proms. Now, this was, I guess, in the mid-90s, but it fits her perfectly. Really? Very excited. Who would have ever thought all those years ago the dress would get reused? Um, And and did you take her to the prom? Uh, No, I did not. We Uh we were not uh, 
we're not acquainted at that point. Uh -huh. so. and, and would you fit into the tux that you wore to the prom uh, whenever it was that you went? I, I can assure you I wouldn't. <laughs> 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 All right, so for people who want to know uh, about the prom and yeah. want to get their tickets, uh, tell them again. Yeah, uh, call the office, 463-0277, or, you know, our website, uwindianacounty.org. That's always uh, the easiest way to... Mm -hmm. uh, find out what we what we have going on yeah but, uh, give a call or check out the website off you go to the so, prom yeah take on me and then it, the last but not least and th this really ties into what you all do here at renda but we have the turkey thon coming up on november 17th mm -hmm. bill otto's been doing this for 29 years maybe yeah. it's a phenomenal event he and hal wingard are are really taking the bull by the horns to make sure this is a successful event it's always the Saturday before Thanksgiving uh, during the Oldies Attic, and we're really looking forward to that event as well. So we have four events jam-packed in here in a month's time, and it's been a lot of work, but the staff at the office and the entire board have really chipped in to uh, carry the burden and the uh, you know, make it easy on everybody. My goodness. Yeah. yeah. You're going you're gonna to knock a big chunk off of that uh of that uh, total through the course of the next month yes think. this next month i think is our make or break month particularly because not only do we have these events but a lot of the employee campaigns are coming to a conclusion as well and so those numbers will start coming in yeah. and as i think i've talked about earlier our, our our employee campaigns there's seven campaigns that are responsible for 40 percent of what we raised toward our goal mm -hmm. so we have a we have a very very strong foundation those campaigns are important and uh, between now and really the next 60 days they'll be wrapping those up and it is uh, still there is still time for someone uh, company to to get an employee campaign up and running absolutely the whole way through january uh, anytime you know we will make visits we will make any presentation that any employer would want to their mm -hmm. employees we've been hitting all the school districts uh, clint was just down in to salzburg friday that's his hometown i was in blairsville the friday before penn's manor i think we have homer center scheduled uh for two in two weeks and then we had already visited the other school districts and w what we're hoping with the school districts yes we're you know we're asking for their personal financial support but we're also trying to engage their students mm -hmm. last year we engaged the students from the Penns Manor National Honor Society for example they conducted a penny wars at the high school and they raised a nice sum of money they were actually part of the annual meeting and were the folks that actually revealed the goal uh, what we had raised mm -hmm. so we really want to try and engage students as well you know we have a very generous student body around here as yeah. you've seen through many of the other things you do here and, uh, you know, we want to build on that. Yeah, well, one of the great things about an employee campaign or any of those sorts of campaigns is it means you don't have to give the money today. Yes. Uh, you can stretch that out over the course of an entire year if you would like to do it that way. Yeah, you uh, can do it through payroll deduction. And, and for example, if you would give uh, $4 a week, which equates to $208 a year, that's what um, makes you eligible for all of the prizes that we have at the end, the incentive prizes. I don't have that list with me, but we have quite a few very uh, neat prizes that uh, makes folks eligible for. And yeah, you know, four bucks a week means something, but if you can spread it out, it certainly sure. uh, makes it a lot easier to handle. All right. So you've got all kinds of things coming up. You'll keep us up to date, I'm sure. We will. We will. He's we will kidding. absolutely keep you up to date. There so. you go. United Way of Indiana County, the campaign marches on, and uh, they've got some really big key events coming up. And so if you can help, uh, certainly that would be appreciated. Yeah, very good. appreciate it. Facebook page, that's where to go. Y yes, uh, you have the Facebook page, our website, uh, and 463-0277 is how you get a hold of the office. And if I could very quickly, mm -hmm. Todd, just because they deserve the recognition, are our corporate event sponsors for the year. And our community leaders are Affordable tier Interiors, Colonial Motor Mart, Kreps United Publications, First Commonwealth Bank, Highmark, the Ruschini Group, and UPMC Health Plan. Gold Level is Government and Civil Employee Services and in Indiana Regional Medical Center. Silver Level, Indiana First Bank, S&T Bank, TriStar Motors, 
Bronze Level, Aaron Ludwig Law, CNB Bank, Community Foundation for the Alleghenies, Holsinger, Clark, and Armstrong, Marion Center Bank, PNC Bank, Smith Loses Chess and Company, and Senator Don White. There you go. They've, uh, they've been a big part of why we're at 34% of our goal as of today. All right. And we appreciate it. All right. Uh, lapel corsage for you or wrist corsage? Which is your favorite? <laughs> Uh, that's a good question for your gonna, prom date. Uh, I'm going to have to figure that out. That's right. In the next week or so, because Thanks for that tip, I'm the a little wrist, rusty in those. The wrist corsage is easier. The lapel corsage, much more fun. Okay. There's the potential for injury there. Very, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you, sir. It is the voice of Indiana County WCCS AM 1160 101.1 FM.